Hello everyone, this is RaySpace and welcome back to Kitten Space Agency. Things are not where I left them, we were in orbit around Mercury, but the game always starts with the Apollo spacecraft in orbit around Earth. And in order to get to where I was, I had saved the game and I had briefly forgotten what the save file was called. For some reason, Winters 1. So I am going to say load Winters 1. So the command to list files is called uh, save files, I think it is, and here. Now we've loaded it, backslash to get rid of that. Oh, okay, it's gone. Well, as it turns out, when I went to save at the end of the video, so a little bit of a spoiler here, I discovered that there is in fact a normal save dialog up there in the file menu, so we don't have to use the console method anymore at all, and it'll just list the save files like that. Interestingly, just uh, six kilobytes, it says, that the files are, and the one that I saved via the console doesn't have the version number, so I don't know if there's a new feature, this game saves thing, or whether I just missed it earlier, but anyway, the console method also works, and that's how I loaded the game at Mercury, but we can do it this way now too. So anyway, you see where I end up, let's go back to where I was. All right, so then we are in orbit around Mercury with the state that we had before, so that's working quite well. And we have plenty of Delta V to go somewhere, and I was planning to go to Venus. And then we will go to Mars. That seems to be a good line, from Mercury to Venus to Mars is a good line. It's after that that we start having problems. Possibly from Mars to Saturn is okay. From Mars to Uranus is okay too. But we can't go backwards around the system if I want to go fast. I'm definitely not doing home and transfers. We are just trying to go fast. Dean Hall from Rocketworks in the comments was kind enough to tell me how to target things, and that's shift left click. So now I have my target set to Venus, and that should show up. Well, it has the velocity and distance there. Oh, we got a close approach distance there now. Okay. Okay, bet then it. Then it went away. Now, um, well, that's with 14,000. I basically said I wanted to do 50,000 towards and 50,000 to slow down for each of the planets. And now that's going to be easier now that I can target them. Well, that's 665,000 kilometers, which is not bad. But then it suddenly slips like that. No, that's not right. Well, now we've got an encounter that's more decisive. I think I'll take that for now. We'll fix it a little bit more by slowing down when we slow down. 51,000 is plenty to be doing. So, I've been assured that the auto burn will auto burn, so I'm going to tell it to auto burn. And but I'll I'll wait a little bit. Five minute burn time for fifty one thousand meters per second is not too bad. Okay, we're on the countdown like that. I'm gonna click auto. Uh, I think I might have. Nope. Simulation real time. Okay, it's on auto. Okay, it looks like eighty seconds away. It decides to orient. Well, let's go to burn orientation to make sure it's doing the right thing. And I'm hands off. We'll go to full throttle as well. Right now our throttle setting is 14%. Okay, it ignited. It doesn't look like this tracks with I mean, the, whether it's ignited and what the throttle setting is doesn't apparently match what we've got going there. So these two are, but then in theory we're not just going with 14% throttle. Closest approach 29 days, 28 days. 27 days, 
see. The goal is to get from one place to another quickly. One thing I'll probably miss about Herbal is the fact that the middle mouse button pans the camera, which leads to the possibility of interesting camera angles. Okay, it cut out with 19 delta V to spare, but considering the magnitude of the burn, that's not bad. And it's a 13 day trip. Got an encounter there, but let's see if we can make that a little bit better. No patch found. Um, well, let's go on escape first, maybe. Oh, well, now it made it. Okay. And... In view Venus. So we see Venus there, but I don't see my path in Venus SOI. We do have... Well, maybe we don't have an encounter right now. Maybe it was just off enough. Okay, now we have an encounter. Well, that's probably as close as I want to get to it. That should be prograde. All right. Focus rocket. We will do this. Oh, can I not close this right now? I guess not. All right, out we go, away from Mercury. We are in solar space, going at 100 kilometers per second. Sometimes things disappear on me, like right there. Tempted to see whether it pulls me out of time warp for this, but not this time. I'd sort of like a little time warp number indicator somewhere just to tell me what warp I'm in sometimes. I, I might not be super... I mean, in theory I would be able to tell by a clock ticking, if, but there isn't always a clock ticking, so in this case there is. Burn time, six seconds. Okay, it is going, but it's it wobbled quite a lot. It left uh, four meters per second on this one. Okay, that's fine. Okay, that uh, it's a little bit high though. Then again, that's costing a lot. Ah, we can keep that inclination. Yeah. We can just keep that inclination. It's fine. Let's go to Venus. Thanks to the monumental thrust weight ratio of this, I don't really have to worry about doing a whole lot of burns ahead of time to slow down. So the periapsis was 2,882. Probably more conservative than I needed to be. Well, we had to splurge here. 67,000 though. Venus is not going to be particularly detailed. I mean, it looks more or less like Venus because Venus is featureless because of the clouds. And go. All right, well, for a six minute burn, I'll use some time warp. Our periapsis is changing, but not a huge amount. Oh, it does have features, so there is some texture to it. Nope, oh, maybe the periapsis will go down to where it was originally. Nope, oh, it's adjusting the periapsis, it seems. Okay, well. We have captured, it was lowering the periapsis a little bit there. It didn't end up where the plan was, but it's okay. 
Just bringing it down a little bit closer. Okay, well, it was close enough for a camera flip. I have no idea what altitude the atmosphere of Venus would actually start, but probably not that high. All right, we are in orbit. So, now we want to go to Mars. Well, I'll go with 40,000 this time. We spent too much on Venus. Okay, now we've got our closest thing. Ah, uh, it's jumping again. 622,000 kilometers or 7,078 megameters. Those are not close to being the same thing, mind you. Can't quite get it right because it keeps jumping around in numbers. Well, that's pretty darn close. We'll do this burn and then we'll figure, figure it out. Ah, oh, it looks like we're doing the burn closer to Apoapsis, which ain't great, but probably not that big a deal. And we're off. And we're on escape. That was quick. <laughs> okay, getting close to the end of the burn, and our transit time will end up being about 29 days. Or 28 days. Two meters per second left on that one. Okay. So we don't have an encounter encounter yet. Let me try and refine this with a mid-course correction. Oh, I had a bit of an issue there. Not changing the closest there. Maybe I should just wait until we're on escape. Uh, I mean in solar SOI. It says time to 33.82 days. But that's not right, because the transit time... Right now it's saying 28 days to our closest approach to it. So... Why would that burn be so far up? Okay, well, let's see what's going on here. So first off, escape, that's in 3.39 hours. So bye-bye, Venus. Okay, now we're in the solar orbit. And I click here. Now it says 12 days. Now it was only three hours to escape. So, I don't know what kind of orbit we were getting before. Will it affect my orbit now? Yes, now it's showing me stuff. Well, that's pretty good right there. I'll take that if we can get it. So in 12 days, 1.22 kilometers per second. Mars is out there. Seven second burn. Oh, 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 I missed it. I missed it. Okay, well, no, let's not auto burn. That would be wrong. Can you just position first? Tell you what, stop. Stop, stop. What are, where, stop. Stop! Like, here, that's the closest approach, 621,000 kilometers or 621 megameters. And then this one, when I move it, Besides, it's 1,638. Now I see that it's assumed that Mars is going to be a little bit further back with the yellow orbit, but that's not that further back. <laughs> so, hmm, interesting. Slowly turns those numbers to the new burn. Okay, and going. Okay, well it says one meter per second left.
Somehow, though, uh, our result is quite different from what was planned. Maybe it's all the RCS firing. But it should be okay. Let's go to Mars. Whoa, it suddenly changed things. The UI void is some sort of clipping. We are in Mars SOI. Let's take a look. The periapsis is fine. Still costs more to capture. 55,000. Arrival time isn't great. But that's about periapsis right there, so that's fine. So, that burn will take five minutes. Mars is looking pretty good. Pretty sure they've got special textures for Mars. You can see Valus Marineris there. Oh, that was a little bit of a different phase. And then we've got all sorts of markers here. Oh, I, I passed the burn point. Oh, no. I was just marveling at all the little markers that popped up and wondering what they are. Oh, it's going by my throttle. Shoot, 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 shoot. More throttle, more, more throttle, please. If you can go to 112%, that'd be great. Good thing we don't actually have kittens yet, because uh, they'd be squished by all the thru thrust that we have. That'll do for now. Okay, well, we'll just come around and... What's that? No, that must be the planned orbit, right? Okay, we'll come around and then bring that down, and then we'll be in a happy little orbit around Mars. Going to Phobos and Deimos would be interesting too. Okay, we got the camera turn. All right, I'll I'll take that. It's lopsided, but I'll take it for now. Looks fine enough. So. We have arrived around Mars after previously arriving around Venus, and after this I will try to get to the outer planets as quickly as possible. I wish I hadn't time warped so much around Earth because that actually means that the counter for the days had advanced even though I hadn't gone anywhere. But anyway, that is how it is. So, the adventures in Kitten Space Agency continue, and I'm sure the updates will as well. And with that, I'll say thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below, and I'll see you next time.